you guys know that scrunchies, they're all the rage. Next, I'm going to do the, the wave with lots of gel and, and blue hairspray. I'm going to have the most bitchinest 80s wave you've ever seen. But not like the most bitchinous 1980s wave. The most bitchinous 2018 wave you've ever seen. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring it a new age spin. I'll probably have my mom do the wave because she was really fucking good at it. She always got it the perfect height that that seemed to like frame my face perfectly. But I'll one up it. I'll check me. Glitter! A glitter 80s wave, guys. Just wait. It's gonna be huh, it's gonna be huge. And I'll probably be wearing my fanny pad. Just to, to really spicing up the deal. I'm not even sure that spicing, bison, spicing, is that a word? You know what I say with our glitter 80s waves? We bring the fanny pack game to new age levels, right? Oops. This all. Oh shit. Anyway, like I was saying, we'll do it right here. And then, oh, what's that? You need my credit card? Just give me a moment. I have to get my chest pack off. <laughs> no, it's just fanny pack. I'm not really going to space. Or you know what? Are we going to space? Was the fanny pack indeed the brainchild of whoever, I'll Google it later, that actually wanted to make a chest pack to take us to space? And he's like, well, that's not going to happen, so let's just make a fanny pack that sits on fannies. I'll Google it. I'll be right back. I know it. When Lee sees this, he's going to be masturbating so hard tonight. Go ahead, send it to him, guys. Yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> you want me, don't you? My fanny pack and my scrunchy game are top and notch. Talk to you later. So I did my fanny pack research, and it turns out that there is no actual name attached to the design and development, really, of uh, of these here fanny packs. But what I did discover in my Google abilities about the fanny pack is that it came about in the 15th century by the French. They developed the fanny pack. The, the fanny pack. I'm not entirely sure what that accent was. Uh, maybe a smooth mix of like Southern European, Paris, France. Uh, maybe a little bit of German. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, so the subsite that I got for my Google abilities said this is going to be a hard one, and I'm not even sure that I can now read my handwriting. Uh, hung from a small belt, small, probably smaller than this, uh, had a small bag called the, the Sh Shell Elaine. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not French. And here, here's to everybody who's like, oh, fuck. if it's not America, I don't want to hear it. Well, guess what? In the 1980s, Merca got hooked on these fucking awesome, awesome fanny packs. Fanny packs? Fanny packs. Yep, it was the 1980s. We fucking took this and we ran with it. And we called it, you know what we called it? Fashion. <laughs> And in this subsite of Google, because my Google abilities are fucking on point, it says that America got hooked on these strap-ons. <laughs> Fanny packs, aka strap-ons. That might be a really good Ask Siri question. Like, I want to know the history of a strap-on. Anyway, let's digress from that. More history on Fanny packs. <laughs> yeah, boy. So Fanny packs were coined because they were worn around the waist near the rear. Who would have thunk it, right? Wow, fucking mind blown. This was probably the most ridiculous research I've ever done because it didn't give me any real fucking wow fucking brain brain exploding moments on a fanny pack. It's just a fanny pack because it hangs from your rear and uh, it carries stuff like your glitter. Love glitter, yay. So that's fanny pack knowledge. You're welcome. Should I stay or should I go?